She was fire and ice, deeply passionate and eternally graceful, often in the face of extraordinary pressures. She understood what was required without having to ask or be told, and she never failed to supply it. She gave of herself with a generosity of spirit, the likes of which won't be seen again. She was our anchor, our heart, our soul. Her love bound us together and made us strong. She was the best of us. The one we could least do without. And now, Eden is gone. She was truly all things to all people. Eden was our daughter. The loss of a child is perhaps the most unendurable of all. As parents, we created this life and found ourselves powerless to keep it from slipping away. There is no solace, no escape, no possible means to understand how such a tragedy could occur. If there is any consolation, it's that our own departed this world as she came in more loved than life itself. I have to believe even you had. And she was our friend. One who was always willing to give the benefit of the doubt. To let us prove ourselves on our own terms. Who asked nothing more than that we return the favor. How many of us have ever offered as much as freely. She was our mother, who had to work much harder than most for the privilege, and she cherished it all the more. And Eden was our wife. Was there ever a love like this? Two unique individuals who somehow completed each other. We even spoke of them in the same breath. Cruz and Eden. We modeled our relationships on theirs. Tried to maintain careers and families the way they did. Struggled to need and be needed just as they needed each other. Only we always fell short. What they made together, the miraculous bond they created was unbreakable, even in death. And Eden was our sister. She understood us in ways we didn't understand ourselves. Became our confidant and counsel, a beacon of hope and reason in a sea of madness. We, we deserve far less. And when she needed us most, so used to hearing our own cries for help. Hers fell on deaf ears. How dare she not pull herself from the brink of the abyss when she'd drawn us back so many times. How do we consider the unthinkable? Anticipate the unimaginable? And now that it's occurred, how do we ever go on from here? You're online, brought to you by Renews It Fragrance Jar. Today's topic, your home. Did you know that the...